you've clicked on this video because you want to get a 9 in GCSE Biology. So I'm here to tell you how to do that. Now, in my opinion, GCSE Biology is one of the easiest sciences to revise because there's very easy ways to go about revising it. I got a 9 in GCSE Biology when I sat it, so I feel like I'm qualified to tell you how to get a 9 yourself. So if you're wondering, who's this guy telling me what to do? I know what I'm saying, I think. <laughs> Let's start off with the immersion technique, which is a technique that not a lot of people use. Basically, it's where you immerse yourself into the subject that you're trying to revise or study in your just normal daily life. For example, you could just be walking and you breathing as you normally do and you stop to your, you stop, think to yourself, I'm breathing in oxygen and that oxygen reacts with And that oxygen is transported around my body through blood cells because the blood cells are shaped in a concave way so that they have space to carry oxygen molecules. I don't know how correct that was because I haven't done GCSE biology in a while. But basically, just in your normal daily life, you think about that subject and think about it in certain contexts so that you understand the subject better. And I don't see a lot of people actually using this because I feel like it's just not something that's told to people. But for me, who does A-level physics, it does help quite a bit because I get used to thinking about these weird concepts in my brain. Another method is flashcards, which you probably already use, but I'm gonna tell you for the people who don't already use flashcards. Because if you're not using flashcards for GCSE Biology, what are you doing? GCSE Biology is the most flashcardable subject. Literally, it could ask you, what type of thing is this? And that could just be regurgitating something that has been said on one of your flashcards. Now, I feel like around this time period, you probably won't have time to start making your own flashcards for GCSE Biology or any GCSE for that matter. But there are loads of flashcards that are pre-made that you don't have to pay for that are just on flashcard decks on Anki. So you can go find them for yourself. So basically they can incorporate space repetition and active recall which I've mentioned so much in my videos, so I don't feel like I need to explain it to you, but it's just basically a very, very good method of studying that you should definitely be using for at least something as easy as GCSE Biology. Pause, if you're still watching right now, then you probably are finding the information that you're hearing pretty helpful, so please subscribe, because I'm trying to reach 3,000 subscribers as soon as possible. Thank you. Now, here's another obvious one. We got past papers, okay? You gotta do the past papers that exist for GCSE Biology. It's obvious, you can get practice in, you can monitor your grades, and if you're improving in the subject that you're trying to revise, it's just, an, it's a no-brainer. Your teachers will tell you to do it, you will do it naturally. Past papers are one of the best ways to revise any GCSE. We've also got the Feynman technique, which is teaching your friends about, or friends or family, about a certain subject so that they can learn it and so you understand that subject better. And I do also find this really easy for biology because, for example, you could be teaching one of your friends something and you can like get a whiteboard, you can draw up a cell, you can draw up the circulatory system. Like, I feel like biology is such a visual subject that is so easy to teach to other people because you can draw things yourself and therefore better understand it. Some YouTubers or just websites that would really help in terms of GCSE Biology are Seneca, Free Science Lessons, Cognito, both the website and the YouTuber. And I personally didn't use anything else, but if you know any other websites, feel free to use them. Oh, and obviously physics and math teacher for past papers Hi. and exam questions. Now I could go on and on about more and more revision techniques that you've probably already heard, but I've got to film videos for GCSE Chemistry and GCSE Physics as well. So that's the end of this GCSE Biology video. So make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the GCSE Chemistry and the GCSE Physics ones because they will be equally as useful and they're not just going to be the same things, I promise. I hope. We'll see. And also you can watch my more in-depth video of somewhere up here of the immersion technique which goes into more detail of what it actually is because I think it's really useful.